Y'all, I am not a sports ball fan, not at all. Haven't watched any sort of game or match or whatever in a great number of years. But this trial coverage, this is my sports coverage. Okay, trial coverage and uh, election returns. When my heart can take it. Sometimes my heart can't take it. And I just have to go to bed. All of that to say, oh, I'm drooling. I'm so excited. All of that to say that this is all very exciting. And in truth, I don't think Maggie Murdoch and I would have been friends. I think Paul would have annoyed the crap out of me if he was one of my son's friends. That aside, these people didn't deserve to get murdered like that. I'm watching breathless coverage of this trial all around the interwebs because I watch and read and listen to every possible thing I can. I'm so fascinated by court TV in general and this case in particular. But I do want to pause and just like honor the dead. Even if the dead were like not people I would have been friends with, they didn't deserve to get killed like this. That aside, I will be all over this court case today. Now, I'm going to try and bring some respect and, so, and some solemnity to the proceedings. That might be a struggle for me because um, calm and reserved, that is not my ministry. That's the judge, Clifton Newman. He's all about calm and serene. Uh, not my gift. I don't have a whole lot of that. I do have a whole lot of coffee, though, and I do have a whole lot of enthusiasm for this case. What will today bring? I think that yesterday the prosecution was masterful in ending the day on the um, I did him so bad quote. I did him so bad. They did him so bad. A did him so bad. I don't know. I don't know what he said. Um, was it I did him so bad? And was he referring to the murders? Was he referring to how he raised the boy? Was he referring to heaven knows what, something else entirely? What I do know is that Alec is looking drawn and defeated all day. He was looking rough, rode hard and put away wet. And oh, poop poop down there. He was looking sleepy and distracted and bored. He's in his 70s and bless his heart for having the energy to take on a trial because I know a couple of trial attorneys and they are definitely younger than Dick Harpootlian, but they are like, oh, trials are exhausting. When I have a friend who's in trial for a week, that's a week you don't call. You don't want to go to lunch. You don't want to do anything. You just let them focus because it takes up a tremendous amount of energy. And none of my friends do criminal. It's all like patents and legal and corporate crap. But this trial has got to be exhausting. If you look at Dick Harpootlian by the end of the day, you know what sundowning is? Sundowning is, I think it happens with people with like dementia and Alzheimer's. It also happens to me and I don't have either one of those things. That is that when you're bright eyed and bushy tailed at the beginning of the day, but then as the day goes on, your eyes get to half mass and you slow way down. I sundown at about two o'clock. I'm really done for the day. I push through till like eight or nine, but really after two, I'm done. Oh, Dick, sundowning. Look at his eyes in the afternoon. Look at the video from yesterday. By the afternoon, his eyes were like barely open. Many years ago, I had this therapist who would just listen to you talk and his eyes would close and he would say, don't mind the fact that my eyes are closed. It helps me concentrate. Until one time, he was concentrating so hard he was snoring. I was like, thank you, sir. No, no, that will end our time working together. And it did. And look, I'm all like healthy, wealthy, and wise, as you can tell, very well-rounded. See, um, so I think Dick might be suffering from a little sundowning. He might need like a flat white or an espresso or a, a, at least a very strong coffee by the end of the day because... Boo-boo, you are looking weak. You are looking weak and worn down in the afternoons, which full belly, that happens. Ooh, and all that delicious Southern food. I wonder if he's eating something fried. What is everybody having for lunch today? And if y'all are in South Carolina, what do y'all eat for lunch? Up here in the, in the uh, Northeast, where we're very elite, we have salad. A lot, a lot of salad. Different kinds of salad, but mostly salad. With some protein, but salad. Okay, um... I kind of want to know what you're thinking of the case so far. Leave me a comment down below. Hit subscribe. Although, like, if you don't want to subscribe, 
then don't. I, you know, I really don't care. This is not my job. This is just what I do for a fun, fun hobby. And I adore talking to you guys. It just brings me so much joy. It makes me feel like me and my friends got together and talked about the case. Oh, and somebody told me in the comments that she was going to be at a hotel in New York City. Where are you staying, girl? Maybe we'll get a coffee. All right. I will talk to you later. Bye.